We're just going along the shoreline of Jack's Lake here now. I'm looking for tracks. I haven't seen any yet. Other than quad tracks. You know, it's been a uh, very hot, very rainy summer. And because of the rain, like I was saying earlier, the bugs have been really bad. Now, I'm just not going to come out and just get eaten alive. Like normally the bugs, you know, it's really bad in May for the black flies, but by middle of June, you know, they're all, they've dried up and things are starting to heat up. But it just kept raining. Like we'd have, we'd have some nice hot days, but then it would just have ter some torrential rainstorms again. And that, you know, breed a whole new generation of bugs all over again. It's just like the whole cycle would start again. And they just kept doing that. And so there's been there's bad bugs uh, just right up to recently. And then I was out in New Brunswick a couple of times. I had to go out in, in mid-June to late June. Then I came back and then I did a kayak trip over on Georgian Bay for four days. Bought a brand new kayak and I'll show you a picture of that. I had a, uh, my old Delta 17 that I had since 2009, still a great boat, but I, I just wanted to downsize my kayak a little bit. I wanted to get a bit shorter one just to make it easier to get up on the, to load up onto the, uh, the truck and all that. And I just didn't need a kayak that big anymore for the storage and everything. So I got a, a Delta 15.5 foot, beautiful boat. Bought it brand new at, uh, at White Squall over in Dillon, Ontario. That's right on Georgian Bay. Really good place if you're ever looking to buy a boat. I mean, a boat like a kayak or canoe boat, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, they've been there for years. They've been there for 30 plus years. And they, they know what they're doing. Anyway, we're just coming up the end of Jack's Lake. And we're going to head over towards Haskins. Gotta go through all these rough rocks and get the, the guts shaken out of me. Yeah, I, did, I wanted to upgrade my GPS. I've had my, uh, I think I, I, I misnamed it earlier. The, the, the one that I bought now is a Montana, a Garmin Montana 700. And there's three variants of it. This is the lowest model. I mean, that's all I need. I don't need the one with, uh, like the, uh, um, you know, the, with the emergency uh, beacon on it and all that stuff. And I don't need, I don't need one with a pitch that takes pictures. A nice feature I like about this, it's got a, it's got a, a rechargeable lithium battery in it. And you probably get about 10 or 15 hours out of, uh, out of one uh, charge. So that's really good. I don't have to keep buying, you know, triple A, or sorry, double A uh, lithium batteries. And those things get expensive, man. I think four of them is about 18 bucks at the hardware store. So if I went right here, I'd go down by Minnow Lake, but we're gonna go left and we're gonna go over by Haskins, and then I'm gonna go over to, uh, the Leatherface's hunt camp on Brule Lake. See, this is, this is the kind of stuff... I don't mind this for short bursts, but these trails around here, like on this, in, just in this particular area, it, there's a lot of this rough stuff. Uh, like I said, I don't mind it for a bit, but uh, when you can't, you can't go over like 10 or 11 kilometers an hour. It's a bit, uh, a bit slow. Okay, well, uh, 
uh, we'll film when we get over by Haskins. Okay, we're uh, pretty close to Haskins here. I can see it through the trees on the right. Hopefully there's nobody there. Yeah, I haven't been out since the 9th of May. Man. It was like a whole season ago. But I plan on getting out a lot this fall. And then Steve and Terry from uh, New York, they'll be coming up. I think in, uh, I think they might be coming up later than, than this year than normal. Normally they come up kind of mid, mid September, but I think this year they're coming up, uh, late September, and maybe it might even be into October. So they can see the colors better. I'm gonna check on them pretty soon about that, actually. Yeah, looking like I got this place to myself. There's only been one or two times I've come here when, uh, you know, you haven't had it. Ah, what the hell, I'll drive all the way out. It's always nice coming all the way out here. Beautiful out here. Okay, I'll uh, take a little break here and walk around. Already I can see loons just off over that point. They won't show up on the GoPro, but they're there. Ah, should have brought my drone today. Nice day for it, no wind. I still, I still have, I brought that drone to, uh, to bring it on the rides and I haven't done it yet. This is a gorgeous spot, boy. I wish this lake was bigger. I'd uh, I'd find a way to bring my kayak out here, but I'd be around this one in ten minutes in my boat. And the grizzly's running really good. No issues at all. I think I'm just over three thousand kilometers on it now. I'll check later on. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick little break here and then uh, we're gonna head, keep going along the trail this way and then cut over to uh, where Leatherface's uh, hunt camp is. I haven't been there since last, when was the last time I was there? Last October, I think. Okay guys, I just saw a bear like 50 yards ahead of me here. A bear and her mother, or a mother and her cub. So, they, I, I didn't have my camera on, but they all of a sudden, they just, I thought it was a moose. I mean, they're 50, they were just 50 yards ahead of me. I mean, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a dip there. And they were there like right here before the dip when I came around that corner back there. And they were booting her that way. Shit, I don't have a bear spray with me either.
I think I'll be all right. I think they're, they're gone, hopefully. They better be. Anyway. It was like right here. where they were. I don't see anything chasing me. That, oh, that, that was moose, moose prints there. You know, I mean, they're, they're out here. I mean, they're, you know, I probably am close to bear every time I come out. You just, you, didn't, you know, they take off when they hear you, right? Same with the moose. They're here. I mean, I've, I didn't film it or take pictures of it, but back there, just before I saw the bear, I mean, it, it looked like there was like 10 moose. It was like they had a dance in the middle of the road. We're going to go over to uh, Leatherface's house. I'm actually going to rename that. I'm not. Gonna, it's been. I've been calling it Leatherface all the time, and that's a good. But then I thought of the that other movie I saw back from the early '80s called the Evil Dead, and it's. I think it's the cabin seems to to look a lot more like a cabin from the Evil Dead. So from now on, I'm going over to the Evil Dead cabin. Just uh. Just Google it and you'll see it. <laughs> Okay, we're getting uh, close to uh, Evil Dead Cabin. I'm still about freaked out a bit by the bear. Oh, holy shit. Huge. <laughs> There's a huge pile of bear shit right there. That, that's what that is, dude. That's bear shit. And it's fresh, too, man. That's a, that's a huge pile of bear shit. Ugh. Okay. Fuck, I wish I had my, uh, my bear spray with me.
dark woods. This would be a, an excellent place for a bear ambush right here. <clears throat> Remember this truck being this rugged before? But you know, it's been a year since I've been here, so. Okay, we're going down the final hill. Fuck, there's some more bear shit right in the middle of the trail right there. <clears throat> Dead Lodge. Anybody here? Good, the door's closed. I hate it when the door's open. <clears throat> I don't think that boat has moved. That's always been there. I can't remember. I can't remember if that other boat was over there before or not. Anyway, this is Brule Lake. That's north that way. I'm at the south end of the Brule Lake. And I'm pretty sure it's all crown land because uh, I, don't, you know, I don't see any other cottages on it. There's probably a hunt camp or two. Something like uh, Evil Dead here, but... Beautiful spot. I'm gonna take a break here and then we're gonna head back over towards uh, Anal Lake and all that and then I'm gonna go up to my secret lake that uh, I can't tell you the name of because I'm sworn to secrecy. Okay, it's been over 45 minutes since I left the, uh, the Evil Dead cabin. And I'm right uh, going down into the Opionga River now. I'm gonna go check the depth I haven't been out here all spring or all summer, so it's it's late August here, so it's probably probably at a good depth, but we'll go down and check it out. I don't know if this water level is controlled or not. There is a dam about a kilometer and a half up the road. You know, so I don't know if it's uh, if it's controlled or not. Well, it's flowing pretty good.
Yeah, that's where I, that's where I sank my grizzly there, my 2016 right there. Back in uh, when was that? I was in uh, I was in August of uh, 2020. That's when it was. We were come down from the trapper's cabin over here, came down that hill, went along that shore right there, and I knew it was I knew it was deep. And we should have gone. Uh, on this side of that little island there, but we went on that side, which is a deeper side. You, but uh, we went on this side, and right about there, I knew I was in trouble. As soon as I got off that bank over there, I thought, uh oh, this isn't good. And sure enough, she just always went, Boom! and it was, you know, I was water like right up to here. I'm not going to cross that today. Yeah, that's yeah no that's uh, that's actually pretty deep oh yeah that's that's about four feet deep like right here and even right here yeah that's uh there's no way I'm getting across that right now for a picture or two though. Ease our way over this way a little bit. Gonna watch you don't drive into a hole. Especially with that current, eh? But normally this is where I cross right here. Just go booting right across here, no problem. <laughs> if I was bold, I could. You could probably do it. I mean, it's not horribly deep. Because of the, it is raised a bit more than normal, and uh, it's the current, eh? And we got swept down in there. Let's go up and uh, up to the mill here.
always a good spot for a stop. I got to figure this uh, this new Montana out. It um, I've got all the settings so that like it's recording my tracks, and I wanted to record the tracks. I've already got all these all these everywhere I've gone. I've already I already have the tracks recorded, and even though I've gone into all the settings and what I think is. Uh, so it's not recording. It's still recording the tracks. It's not a big issue. I'll just get home and just it's no problem to just delete them But it's still uh, I don't want it to do that So anyway, we'll get that figured out right, There's all these all, all these you got you got your main menus and your sub menus and it's sub sub menus And then a link to other menus and other settings and it's just a pain in the ass everything is so so complex for these things now. All right, we'll take a little break here and uh, then we'll carry on. Okay, we're just leaving the mill. We'll just go down here and check out the loo with a view. See how it got through the, uh, the winter and the summer. See it? Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll see it another time. It's all camouflaged by the uh, overgrown there. We're just on the railbed now, heading east. So if I kept going in this direction. I'd uh, head back down to Barry's Bay and Killaloo and all that, but that's you know that's a long ways away. If I went and turned around in the other direction, I'm heading west and I'd go down towards Madawaska, Balkan Park. I'd go down to the, uh, the old trapper's cabin that isn't far from here. I think I'll go down and check that out. Okay, we're heading down into the trapper's cabin now. And yeah, she's pretty overgrown in here. Just ran over some bear poop. Yeah, what I was worried about with that, with those, uh, that mother bear and her cub, when I saw them, you know, they were just starting to, to take off from me. And the thing is, the cub went left and the mother went right. So they were separated and I didn't see the other, you know, one and the other one go back. So I mean, uh, I was pretty, uh, pretty concerned for a little bit about going right up the middle, because the last thing you want to do, man, is get between a mother bear and her cub. And here's a great big log. I don't think I'm going to get over. No, 
I don't want to go over that. No, better. Be too hard on the, the guts. Okay, now I gotta get turned around. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Get this spot right here. Ten point turn here. Okay, so no trappers cabin. I mean, that's one of those things, you know, I, I could have gone over it. But you know, yeah, that was a big log. And yeah, I could have gone over it, but you know, that's it's, you're gonna smash and rub the bottom of your uh, your. You know, I, I started. This, I just had the stock put skid plates on here. You could rip something off. You could rip off an arm guard or something if it catches. It wasn't a nice smooth log either. And a couple of big knots sticking up on it. I'll let somebody else move it all the way. The, uh, this nice campsite. Uh, it's not too far from the mill of the trapper's cabin. It's just up a little bit further, maybe half a kilometer or so. And I had to cross the, uh, the uh, river back here, and I'm going to go back and cross it just to show you. Usually I can't get across that. It's pretty, pretty deep, but uh, it's actually pretty shallow. It's the shallowest I've ever seen it, actually. But, you know, so we're just going to go back and cross that, and then we'll come back. We'll come back again, and we'll keep going up the trail here, and that'll come up close to where my truck is. Yeah, usually, uh, usually this is pretty deep here, but it's not bad at all right now.
Okay, we're going to uh, go up the trail on the other side here and we'll head back towards my truck and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do from there. I'm probably not going to uh, do what I said I was going to do is go up to that remote lake. Once again, I made a piss poor time estimate. It just everything took a lot longer for me to do to get over here, and now I'm just kind of running a bit behind of where I want to be. So, anyway, it's all good. We'll get there another time. I'll probably go up to the lookout on Ailen Lake and check that. Never, I've never been up here. This this track will go all the way right up to uh, the edge of Algonquin Park. It's about eight kilometers long. I've never done it, and it basically goes right along the edge of the uh, the Okeyongo River. Like the Okeyongo River is right here to my left. So I'm just going to keep going up here for a bit. This is a beautiful spot. rotten gone 40 kilometers and my I haven't even gone down one bar of fuel that yet. I tell you these grizzlies get really really good fuel mileage. Like I bet I could probably do 160 kilometers on a tank of fuel. I don't know if I don't think there's another quad that even comes close to that. It's only a, uh, I think it's only an 18 kilometer. 
diameter or 18 uh, liter tank too. Bridge now. Oh, something's coming up here ahead of me. Give it a couple hundred more yards and then I'm going to turn around.
Okay, that's it, guys. I'm going to turn around here. But I'm definitely going to do this trail. I think next time I come out, next week or something. I'll do the whole thing. And the thing is, it also heads in the same general direction as that, uh, that secret lake that I was telling you about. So I'm just going to head back uh, and head back to my truck now. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. And I'll probably, I'm not sure if I'll be out next week or not. It's kind of getting warm again. But anyway, it's fall. I'm going to be out a lot, as much as I can. September and October, best time to ride. And so we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again, and uh, see you later.